Okay, so um, this is an absolute fail. I started this video barefaced, didn't have anything in my face, and then just realized that my camera wasn't filming this whole time. So, love that for me. Uh, yeah, guys, hi. I'm gonna put my brush down. Hi, guys, I look a bit crazy right now, but I can't believe I'm doing my intro like this. Like, literally, okay. Basically, I am going to be filming a get ready with me video, a chit chat get ready with me. I've got my coffee going. I'm just ready for this video. I'm going to do a makeup look on my face. I'm going to sit here, talk to you guys and just really have like a nice little catch up. This is my, my first get ready with me video of 2019. I'm excited, so I hope you guys are too. So, yeah, again, I just want to apologize. I was literally barefaced and I had nothing on my face, and I did this intro, but somehow my camera decided to be long and not record, so sorry about that. But, anyways, we are gonna. Well, basically, let me catch you guys up. I was just doing my eyebrows, as you guys can see, and I was just talking about my favorite like product ever like my literally my ride or die this is a Too Faced born this way uh, multi-use sculpting concealer this one here i live for this concealer i use it every single day on my eyebrows to conceal to highlight like literally it's my ride or die and i was just saying it's Too Faced if you're watching this holla at your girl because i love this product okay? so i've done my eyebrows i'm gonna have a little coffee break oh so today I um, I went for something a bit different. I didn't go for my ice caramel frappuccino. It's actually really cold today. It snowed, so there's like ice everywhere. And it's so cool. I love it. But anyways, um, I went for something a bit different. I went for an ice caramel. It's pretty much the same as caramel frappuccino, but instead of it being slushy, it's just coffee. So I just went for an ice caramel coffee. I think it's a latte. I'm not too sure. But anyways, it's so yummy, and I. I think I found my favorite drink ever now. I'm gonna fix those brows because I look hideous right now. Like, I can't believe I'm seeing it to you guys and I look like this. So I'm gonna blend everything out a little bit because if you haven't realized, I broke out um, today morning. Well, I woke up and I just saw a spot on my face and I was like, love that. Thank you, the day I decided to record and film a video. You know, just not impressed. Just not impressed, Amina. Well, to be fair, I didn't really take care of my skin last night. Like, I didn't do my skincare last night, so that's probably why. I literally just got a wipe, took my makeup off, watched TV. I watched Undateables. I love that program so much. It's so good. So I was watching that, and then I fell asleep on the sofa, woke up, and I was like, oh, shit. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. I need to go to bed. <laughs> then I got up and went to bed. And um, story of my life, really, right now. Like, literally. Okay, so recently I've had a lot of you guys DM me on uh, my Instagram and said, Amina, please do you like your topic videos again and like talk about that and all of that. So I'm back. I'm back doing the topic videos. I'm well excited. So yeah, today's topic is obviously going to be a very trans, trans, what's, what's the word called? Wow, I had the word in my head and it just disappeared. Okay, so today's topic is going to be about Dina taking off her scarf. Um, this topic has literally been talked about everywhere on the whole social media industry. Okay, so, so many of you guys asked me to talk about this topic and I didn't really want to go too much into it, but so many of you guys requested it. So I am going to be talking about how I feel about the whole subject and the whole controversial thing that's happening at the moment and um, just let you guys know what I think about the whole thing. And I'm gonna do my makeup at the same time because otherwise this video is gonna be like super long. <laughs> okay, so before we go ahead, um, for foundation, I'm gonna be using a darker foundation today because as you guys can see, my hands are tanned. I do tan my hands and my face and my neck is super pale. Like I'm a very pale person. Like I absolutely look like an egg right now. Happy days. Yeah, so I'm gonna wear a dark foundation today. This is a Kat Von D. I absolutely love, love, love this foundation. It's beautiful, it's amazing, it makes your skin look flawless. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be using this foundation and this is in shade Light 49 Neutral. And um, this is like two shades darker than I am, but you know what? It's cool, you know? They sent it to me and I was like, it's a little bit dark, but we can work with it. 
so that's fine. By the way, all the products I'm using today with my brushes and everything will be linked in the description box below. So um, yeah, check the description box below. Yeah, okay, I thought I just, okay, shut up. Um, so yeah, um, let's go on to the topic and talk about it. So I am not gonna sit here and just be like, because I've seen a lot of people just post videos and like, oh my god, it's okay, it's cool, you know, she cut scarf off and stuff. I'm not gonna sit here and just point act on and be like super nice to the camera. Like, I followed Dina since she first started when she was like literally filming on her iPad. I think it was her iPad, and I've been a, such a huge fan ever since. Like, I love her. I loved everything about her. I loved her fashion sense, her modest, like her scarf styles were so on point. Just everyone loved her for that, I suppose. Like, the way she did her scarf and how bubbly she is and just such a lovely person, right? Then she started obviously showing a lot more hair, like pulling strands of her hair out and stuff like that. And then I was like, mmm, like, you know, ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I feel like, and then in my head, I kind of knew that she was going to take her scarf off fully. Um, like in the back of my head I was like okay she's showing a lot of hair now she's gonna take her scarf off anytime soon and then BAM one day she just posted a picture with no scarf on and I was like oh my god obviously the internet went ballistic and they went crazy and it was like videos of people commenting on like reacting to her taking her scarf off and everything I guess that's kind of what I'm doing as well I'm not gonna sit here and say you know what it's like you know I wasn't disappointed I I was and I still am because I do miss the old Dina like I mean she's obviously still the same person like you know she's still crazy she's still bubbly but I do miss the old Dina because that's someone I looked up to that's someone I got inspired by and um, she taking her scarf off just kind of shocked me because I didn't expect it. Like, no one out there watching this video right now should point fingers and be like, oh, you know what, you're such a bad person, why do you take your scarf off? You know, I don't want anyone to go and leave her hate because we should never judge a person because, yeah, they might, like for her to be able to take her scarf off, okay, if you are hijabi right now watching this video, how big of a deal is it for you to take off your hijab? Like that's such a huge deal. Like for me personally, if I was speaking on my behalf, like it would be such a big thing for me to like be able to walk outside with no scarf on. Like I would feel literally naked. And um, being a Muslim, that's your identity. Like it's kind of, it's far for us to wear hijab. Um, so for her to be able to take it off and be like, you know, I don't want to wear hijab anymore and all of that kind of just, blew my mind I was just like whoa like she must have well she's probably going through the same thing right now like she must be going through such a big thing for her to be able to make that decision be like no you know what I don't want to wear a scarf anymore I just want to not wear a scarf anymore I don't know it's just kind of a crazy thing and I just I just one thing I would wish um is for like her husband Sid to be like no um Dina like guy like being a husband and wife you're supposed to help each other out and guide each other like i just wish he would be like you know stand up and be like you know what dina no you know what you're doing is wrong i just want you to like just help your wife out if she's going through such a hard like difficult um situation just be like you know i don't think what you're doing is right you know that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to help each other to want to make it to jannah inshallah so i mean all i can say is that oh i got foundation on my hood this is amazing. All we can do is just like, you know, make da for her and inshallah she finds the right path. Like that's one thing we could all do for her um, is make da for her because she's she's always been like such a lovely, like lovable person. And obviously I still love her and I still like, you know, watch her videos and stuff like that. But I, I'm not gonna sit here and say I'm not disappointed because I am disappointed. And, um, and I feel like a lot of people are too. And I'm, I never just try to hide my videos or try to hide how I feel. I am disappointed. And obviously I am going to say how I feel. But all we can do is just kind of make da'a for her. And, and inshallah she finds the right way and she comes back. But don't leave hate on someone's videos or hate or like wish her death, her death threats and all of that. That's like really horrible, really evil. Like I saw her video where she was reading out the hate comments. And she looked so upset and so disappointed. And like anyone would be to be fair like if anyone wrote such hateful comments about their family and like them dying and stuff like that that's really horrible so like bear what you say in mind to people because that could really like impact how they feel like if they were feeling really bad that day and then you wrote such a hateful comment like that's gonna really ruin their like 
ruin how they feel or ruin their day and stuff like that so please bear that in mind love this flipping foundation what the hell this foundation is absolutely amazing every time i wear it i just feel like a million dollars i love it okay so yeah moving on i'm gonna go and apply oh actually before i go and move on what i like to do is i like to get my beauty blender beauty blender <laughs> And I've got my Sparkling Mist by Laura Galeo. This is a coconut restore. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Just to spritz over your face. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. And it literally smells like coconut. Oh, love it. Yeah, so what I usually do is I usually get my beauty blender. And I just go over it after I use the brush. And I just kind of just like tap it down. Sorry if I keep looking at the, the, the viewfinder, I'm just not used to this whole camera setup. Um, if you guys watched my previous video, I mentioned that I bought a new camera. So it's a it's a huge chunky camera and like the lens is just over here like on my side. So I keep on looking if I'm in shot because I'm not too sure if I'm in shot and if I'm moving around. Like I'm not... Like it's a new camera guys, so please bear with. <laughs> okay, so yeah, and now that I've applied the foundation, it is gorgeous. I love it. I'm gonna go and apply my trusted concealer because you guys know this and I'm just gonna conceal the areas as you guys can see I really need to buy a new beauty blender like my beauty blender has literally seen better days look at that it's, it's vile oh excuse me caught on camera so what I usually do after applying my concealer is I like to bake really quick and sometimes I use the shades over here and sometimes I use my trusted Laura Mercier but today I'm gonna go for my Laura Mercier powder and I'm just gonna bake really quick before this creases underneath my eyes because it can crease real quick. And I don't leave it on for so long because it's my everyday makeup look, I don't bake for ages. So what I usually do is just get my beauty blender and just dab that in like so. I am going to go and contour my face now guys. I'm going to be using the Hoola Benefit just to contour my face. And then for bronzer, I'm going to be using my very loved um, Kat Von D Light and Shade Palette. I love this palette so much and I'll be using it like literally every single day since I bought it. So, oh yes. Um, I really need to buy a new one because I've hit pan and um, a new one is needed to be ordered, that's for sure. Today was so funny because we, me and Adil woke up in like such a hysteric way. I was sleeping, apparently Adil told me how I looked when I was sleeping, I was like this. No lie, not snoring, I don't snore at all. Like, I've been told, okay? I'm not just saying that. <laughs> I don't snore but I do sleep with my mouth open because I do find it hard to breathe sometimes at night. And then Adil came and woke me up literally at 8 o'clock and he's like, Mina, wake up, it's 8 o'clock. We need to leave in like 5 minutes because obviously I drop him to work. He live like his workplace is literally 5 minutes from my house. So, from our house. And uh, yeah, and I, I literally slept in in the alarm. I, I don't know what happened. Like I mentioned, I slept on the sofa, woke up at 2 and then I realized, oh shit, I'm on the sofa. I should really be sleeping in bed. <laughs> so yeah. I woke up in such a hysteric, I was like, <laughs> what, what, what? And he's like, you need to get up and get ready because it's eight o'clock. And I was like, oh, okay. So, um, yeah, that happened today. <laughs> okay, so that's the contour done. I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer because I do like to look pretty bronzed um, because now it's winter, I'm like so pale. But yeah, I'm gonna go for this shade in the middle. I don't know what shade, it oh, I do know what shade it is. It's got the shades. <laughs> it's called Shadow Play. Okay, that was a really awkward moment. Um, yeah. By the way, guys, today is Iman's birthday. So if you man, if you're watching this, happy birthday. And um, you're not young anymore. You're old. Okay, you're real old. You're, you're 19. So you better get your shit together, my girl. And, um, and start pulling your act around here. When you come to my house, I want you to wash up and clean. Thank you very much. I'm joking. No, I'm not joking about that part, but I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday. I hope you have a good birthday. I used to hate blush up, but now I absolutely love it. I just like looking a bit like <laughs> blushed. Okay, that's my blusher done. Okay, so we really need to move on to the eyes. Um, okay, so for my eyes, um, I've got two different um, everyday makeup looks I usually rock. I usually rock um, a really thick liner 
and then like a lot of mascara or sometimes I just literally rock mascara or sometimes I instead of mascara I literally rock <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me this coffee is really kicking in it's kicking in hard or I rock like false lashes on its own just just on its own <laughs> so I don't know what look should I go for should I go for the really thick mascara and like loads of lashes or should I go for fake lashes or should I just I don't know what to do okay where the hell did it go oh my god where did it go oh here it is okay hi guys I'm back and um, I do apply a lot of highlighter because I like to look pretty highlighted so <laughs> That's the whole point of a highlighter to look highlight. Okay, I am going to apply my favourite highlighter currently. It's the OPVM highlighter in Glamorous. This is so beautiful. You guys will see in a minute. Like, oh, if you want to get a really good highlighter that actually makes you look super highlighted, this is the one. Oh my god, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? This is the best highlighter ever i used to literally swear by um the mary lou mineralizer like i used to love that um highlighter so much but this this has literally changed my highlighting game i'm not even joking like i literally use this highlighter every single day now like i'm gonna go and apply some set and spray and this is the one i just mentioned earlier and over that I'm gonna go and apply the makeup set and spray the one I actually featured in my pound shop haul if you haven't watched that I will leave it in the eye right now and I'll leave it linked in the description box below you guys have to watch the haul I literally got this for a pound from the pound shop um this is going to be like my first time trying it out so I don't know how I feel about it just yet but if you guys see a difference then let you girl know um but yeah it's just a pound like pound for set and spray what oh it doesn't really smell nice though. Okay, so I'm not impressed with how it smells. It doesn't smell pleasant. It just has that really stinky smell. Okay, so I'm gonna speak to you guys after my lashes are on because I can't speak when I when I put my lashes on because that's just not gonna happen. So BRB. Okay guys, so I'm back 20 minutes later. These are the lashes. I'll be honest, I don't really recommend them. They're really hard to put on. It literally took me 20 minutes to put these on and they don't really look right like the ones I usually go for is a demi wispy lashes by Ardell and Mine um, Just kind of looks a bit crazy and I need to buy some new ones So these are the ones I just had and um, I don't really like the way they look They don't really they're not very flexible. Obviously they are two pounds. You can't expect too much But they're not bad. They're not they're not too bad. I think I need to put a really thin layer of eyeliner on top just so it looks okay because it looks really bizarre. So I think I'm gonna do that. Okay guys, so I've just added a really thin layer of eyeliner on top and I feel like it looks a lot better now. Like it's kind of combined and looks good. And I've also added a little tiny little beauty, um, beauty spot over here and I really like it. I think it looks cute. Anyways, I'm gonna go for lips now. I'm gonna add some lip liner. This is by Rimmel London and it's in shade... I can't even see it anymore. The colour's gone off. Yeah, it's this one. The colour's gone off, so sorry about that. I do, however, overline my lips, so before anyone says anything, I do know I overline my lips. I like to have big lips because I've got a tiny little lip, so. If you have any issues, any shade. I don't know why you like it so bad. I know that. I do like big lips, okay? Okay, and then I'm going to move on to lipstick. This is the MAC Kind of Sexy Lipstick. I love this. It's like a pinky nude. It's like your everyday lipstick. It's so beautiful and it's just lovely. I love the shade. Yeah. But anyways, um, this is the makeup look, guys. This is my everyday makeup look. I love it. It's really quick and easy. Like, honestly, like, obviously it took so long because I was talking to you guys. Yeah, like going through everything but if I do this on my own it literally takes me max 15 minutes maybe like maybe 20 with the lashes because I'm not really good at putting fake lashes on like I'm really bad at it but um yeah I'd say like 20 minutes it's not long you know um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did don't forget to smash that thumbs up and yeah this is my first to chat get ready with me I actually really enjoy talking to you guys so thank you for talking to me um 
Wow, that sounds so lonely. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I shall catch up with you guys really soon in my next video. But before I go, everything I mentioned today, guys, will be linked in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. And I love you all so, so much and I shall see you guys really soon. Bye, guys.